The hunting of harp seal pups, known as white coats, or bluebacks, the hooded seal pups, is illegal in Canada and has been since 1987. And no person shall commercially hunt these animals, and the marine mammal regulations prohibit the buy, sell, trade, or barter of these pelts. You just heard a Canadian DFO official state that killing harp seal pups known as white coats has been illegal since 1987. Although it's been a foregone conclusion for the last 20 years that the Canadian commercial seal hunt no longer targets white coats, it bears mentioning that one needs to be careful with the words seal pup and how they're used. Seal hunt advocates will use the fact that newborn white coats are no longer a part of the hunts to argue that they don't kill baby seals anymore. Let's take a deeper look into the developmental biology of the harp seals and analyze the statistics compiled by the European Food Safety Authority. First of all, let's eliminate the word baby from the debate. Baby is a word which many seal hunt supporters claim could be used to anthropomorphize or humanize seals as a species. Further, let's also eliminate the word pup from our vernacular since it paints with far too broad a brush. Pup could mean anything from newborn to an adolescent animal. Let's look at the word the veterinary panel of the EFSA uses. In describing the very young of the seal species, the EFSA uses the word neonatal. To start with, they use the word in the definition of white coat. White coat. A neonatal heart seal before it begins to shed its white lanugo fetal hair at the age of about 12 days. Starting around age 12, the neonatal harp seal pup will begin to molt its white coat, and a shiny speckled silver coat will be revealed. As soon as this process starts, the harp seal becomes a legal target. After the seal is fully molted and until it turns one year old, it's called a beater. However, like a young kangaroo is a joey and a young bear is a cub. Beater is not a biological classification, it's simply a developmental title. Although harp seals live to be around 30, it's legal and most preferable to kill seals as young as 12 days old. The EFSA report shows that about 95% of the seals taken in the Canadian seal hunt were between the ages of 1 and 3.5 and months old. Even though white coat harp seals haven't been a part of the hunt for well over 20 years, the EFSA still found it important to collect data on neonatal seals. In fact, outside of the definition of white coat, the word neonatal appears as a non-exclusive adjective four more times in the report. First, the panel cites a U.S. report stating, Euthanasia by a blow to the head must be evaluated in terms of the anatomical features of the species on which it's being performed. A blow to the head can be a humane method of euthanasia for neonatal animals. An obvious cue that the panel still considers the animals involved to be in the neonatal classification. The panel continues to cite three other works. Most interesting of them is the Canadian Department of Fisheries and Oceans own a review of ice conditions and potential impact on harp seal neonatal mortality in March 2007, wherein the DFO itself postulates on harp seals being neonatal up to at least six weeks of age. Having revealed all the different biological classifications and developmental titles of harp seals discussed in the EFSA Q2007-118 report, let's chart them. First, the white circle on the left indicates the developmental title of white coat, 
whose cycle lasts from birth till about 12 days. On the right, in blue, we have the area indicating the developmental title of beater. The red area beginning on the left and sharing space both with the title of white coat and part of the title of beater is the biological classification of neonatal, as outlined even by the Canadian Department of Fisheries and Oceans cited report. Clearly the Canadian commercial harp seal hunt continues to kill baby seals. Even the DFO seems to agree that there is some convergence between the classifications of neonatal and beater.